For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 25 of season 3 here at Everton Football Club. We start with an away game against Chelsea, who are currently sat in 5th place in the table. We're top by a single point. We have West Ham midweek and then Newcastle United the following weekend as well. And then, I think it's every week... Oh no, we've got a couple of midweek games. Alright, fair play. Never mind, actually one's on the Sunday, isn't it? So it's only the one more midweek game after today. Because of course we're not involved in the European uh, competition anymore after the last episode. In rather dramatic fashion, but we are out of the Europa League. So we'll start with Chelsea and then we'll just take it from there. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too and make sure you hit the little notification bell symbol as well to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. New series on the way. This one's nearly over. We'll be starting an Ultimate Team series soon, coming up to a transfer window in the My Player. So it's all going to kind of kick off very, very soon here on the channel. But uh, for now, we're going to concentrate on Chelsea away and try and get a win. Went in well. Carrasco, McCarthy, McCarthy, poke that there to Mitchell. Henyrandis poking where he wants it. And I forced myself a little bit too far wide with the first touch. The shot was on target and it forced the save out of Courtois, but it. Definitely wasn't a difficult save to be made. Well, Prowse across there to Mitchell. Through the gap. Nicely done. Carrasco. Run around the outside. It's James Ward Prowse. Heavy touch, but cracks it off the bar. It's going to go out for a goal kick as well, isn't it, with a spin? Wow. I was hoping that would go across into the corner, but Ward Prowse just gets slightly too much elevation on it, as he normally tends to do in shooting situations like that. And it cannons back off the bar. Great opportunity to take a 1 0 lead that we haven't been able to take. Oh, I was going to try and get that to Henyaranda, but I couldn't squeeze it. Let's go out wide instead. Is Mitchell. Lovely touch and turn. Brilliant touch and turn. We'll drill it into the middle, and someone's there. Henyaranda, please. Henyaranda, please. What have you done there, my man? That surely should have been 1 0. Oh, I can't believe I've missed that. Mitchell with the tackle. Ward Prowse into Penyaranda. Nicely turn around the corner. Pull that back. Pull the defenders out of position. Carrasco can give this to Penyaranda. I'm going to hit it early. Cannons off David Luiz's shoulder and out for a corner. Let's take the lead here, shall we? Yannick Ferreira Carrasco to take the corner. Socrates is going to be underneath this. Really strange technique on the header. It was behind him and he... Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know there. Carrasco will bring in the next corner and it's going to be Socrates under it again. But Oscar's going to eventually get it away or was almost able to nip in there and steal it off him. Diego Costa knocks that down well. Nice little one-two with Willian. And skips away from the challenge. Don't let Willian get in behind. Manchester City will tell you all about that. Willian lays it back to Costa. Sergio Rico makes a good save. And now it's a corner at the other end. Game's getting a bit stretched here towards the end of the first half. Eden Hazard to take the set piece. Five minutes to go. That's whipped in. It's a very dangerous corner. And the keeper punches that. Put me under a little bit of pressure there. That's a foul, surely referee. Thank you. Diego Costa probably going to pick himself up a yellow card here. And... Doesn't. Trissa into James Ward Prowse. I can play through Penyaranda here. He's in behind. And I have to take this shot so, sooner rather than later. And the pressure of Manolas on my shoulder just completely put me off. Rather skewed effort there from Penyaranda. A decent opportunity to give us a 1 0 lead, but with half an hour to go, I've not been able to take it. Inside. Penyaranda's there. And David Luiz is coming across, but we'll have to drop the shoulder. Shot's blocked. That'll be a corner. Oh, 25 minutes to go. I'm thinking about making some substitutions. Carrasco whips the cross in. Oh, Alfie Hill over the top of the bar, unfortunately. One of the best efforts we've had so far. He really doesn't look like an 18-year-old, does he? With a skinhead shaved head and a big beard. Oh, I thought Bertram was going to intercept that. And Fakir switched that brilliantly into Pasalic, who's in the box and scores for Chelsea. I can't believe we didn't intercept that pass there. Bertram seemed to reach out for it and just missed it. Great ball by Fakir. Good touch by Pasalic as well. And he smacked that in at the near post. Chelsea lead by a goal to nil. Free kick for Chelsea. Louise fires it forward. Socrates heads away. Dow brings that down well. We'll use Andre Scherler here and try and utilise his pace. If Benyaranda can make me a decent enough run, I could find him. Scherler's still going here. He's only got three-star skills, so I can't do a Berber spin or a Ronaldo chop. We'll get this into Penyaranda, who's spun well himself. Oh, 
comes off David Luiz as it's headed towards the target. Cross will come in here from James Ward Prowse. Very good delivery. Scheller's underneath it. Punch cleared by the keeper. Scheller knocks that down again. It's Socrates on the ball. It's going to drop free. Scheller gets the tackle in. Dink that in towards Penyaranda, but cleared away by Oscar. Only six and a half minutes left to go for us to equalise here. Otherwise, Chelsea will be closing the gap to us at the top of the table. Final whistle goes. It's going to be a 1-0 defeat at Stamford Bridge, unfortunately. That goal from Pasalic with uh, 20 minutes or so to go, despite our dominance in the game, as you can see from the stats there, means that we get a defeat away from home. Manchester United draw, which is good. City lose, which is also good, but they lose to Arsenal, which means that at least one of the sides that are chasing us get another three points. But I think Arsenal were a little bit further back, so those results may have actually done us a favour with regards to the top of the table. We'll have a look and see what the league table looks like. It's actually Spurs that are now top of the table. They are two points clear of us. Manchester United are above us now. So, in fact, it's Tottenham that are the side to beat at present. Chelsea closer within two points of us, but have played a game extra. So, we need to win this game midweek against West Ham. And that will hopefully, depending on what Spurs' result do, what Spurs' result do, depending on what Spurs' result is and what Tottenham can do, it should put us back at least inside the top two, if not top of the table again. West Ham up next. Williams poke that forward to Chalanolu. Unfortunately, Nyaka Williams isn't out wide because he's just passed the ball to me in the centre. But Kravet will get this out to De La Feu. Loads of space there for Pereira, who will keep that in. Didn't think he actually had there, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. Kravet, he'll get this to Rafinha and then into Chali. Well, that five star weak foot, and we'll try and use it here. It's blocked, and the defender will keep it in, unfortunately. First chance of the game comes after seven minutes. They're taking a few risks back here, West Ham. Quadwa Samoa playing for them. Obviously, again, another former Everton player. It seems that we've bought in and sold on so many players in this save that almost every team we play has a former player of some description playing for them. It was Axel Witzel for Chelsea. It was Saponara for Liverpool in the last episode. And oh, Sheikha Kiate just powers through by defence and they lead 1-0 here, West Ham, after nine minutes. Not exactly the way I wanted to start that game. I'd rather they scored now, though, so that it gives me 81 minutes to go and equalise rather than them score nine minutes from time and go 1-0 up. So still plenty of the game to go. Nothing to worry about yet. Well up, Gerard. Delefeu does well to win that. Chalanolu does well to keep hold of it. I'll give that to Willems, to Lukaku, to Delefeu, to the back of the net. No. To maybe the back of the net now. No. Marcia San. With a good save. I was hoping Lukaku would volley that, but he went for the header. Never mind. De La Feu with a free kick, with a corner even. And oh, oh, the keeper diving away is able to uh, get it out for another corner on the far side. De La Feu with another delivery in. Chalanolu's up. It's on target, I think. I'm not sure where it's going. Ogbonna's going to smack it out for a throw. And Kovic's come short, which is good. Turn the corner, get it to Romelu. Oh, that was an awful challenge from Angelo Ogbonna. He'll get a yellow card for that, and Chalanolu will have the chance to uh, score a free kick. He'll get a red card for that, Angelo Ogbonna. Unexpected. 23rd minute, 1-0 down, but our opposition are now down to 10 men. That's not a red card challenge. It's not a nice challenge. It's not a good challenge at all, but it's not a red card challenge. Chalanolu then to take the free kick. Can we equalise here? Chalanolu is it up over the wall, and... Stunning save from the keeper. Things aren't going to be as easy as we might hope they could be against 10 men here against West Ham. I have a funny feeling. Delefe will get that back into the box. They've got a man that's gone down and stayed down. Lukaku can't get on the end of that. Sergio Ramos does. Go on then, why not? Oh, Sergio Ramos, what a strike. We'll have a corner on the far side again. Can we get Ramos maybe on it with a header? Or Lemos? He's up, but Marchesan is determined to keep a clean sheet. It's actually Quadro Asamoah that's injured. Our former player playing for them in this game. He's gone down injured. Is he, He's still on the pitch, I think. He's not been... Oh, no. He has been substituted off. You can see top left right now for Danny Ings. OK. Well, they're down to 10 men, but there's still a goal in front. But there's still over an hour left to play. With the throw back to Rafinha. In there to Willems. It's Chalanolu. Can we get the turn in? Is that a free kick? It is. Another opportunity from practically the exact same position as the, uh, the first free kick. This time... The wall is stood on the other side. Can we? Oh, someone's getting booked in the wall now. Just let me take it, please. I really, I'm desperate to get an equaliser as soon as possible so that we can... Oh, just past the post. 
so that we have as, enough time as possible to get a second goal and get the win. A draw isn't good enough for me here. I really need to get the victory. Now they're down to 10 men. We're not going to get a be better opportunity to do exactly that with just a, under an hour still to go. Taylor Fayou, Chalanolu. Surely now this is the opportunity we need to get ourselves back in the game. Romanu Lukaku buries it. We do get the goal back before half time. So we have a full 45 minutes to get ourselves to go to get start that again. We have a full 45 minutes to get ourselves the goal to go in front. Thank you, Romelu. He's 15th, I believe, of the Premier League season, and he's continuing to be the league's top goal scorer. Rafinha. Oh, nice block by Jordan Ayew. Andre Ayew, sorry. Wrong Ayew, brother. Andre's in the box. Sots blocked. Oh, Sergio Rico just manages to scramble across to hold on to it. I had visions there of it. EAing me, so to speak, and him just palming that straight to the defender that was stood there waiting. Thankfully, no such thing happened. We have just over half an hour left to try and get ourselves a winning goal in this game, or perhaps a winning goal or two in this game. Might be nice to win it by more than just a one. I'm going to poke this here for Chalanolu. We might be able to get that goal now, and we have done. He's tucked that brilliantly into the bottom corner. Hakan Chalanolu very much back into the first team picture. Everton 2, West Ham United 1. Ricardo cuts that out. Give that there to Idrissa. Lukaku in front of me. And Yaki Williams on the left. Pull that back for Idrissa again. Good block. Out for a corner. Five minutes to go. Four minutes to go. Taylor Fay will whip this in. That's a very good delivery. Schurler's up straight at Marchesan. Here's Jano. Nice tackle by Lemos. Poke that there to Andre Schurler. If he can just race away, I could maybe sit through Idrissa on this far side. Idrissa's in behind now, but Mark Noble's with him. Fresh legs versus fresh legs. Poke that in front of Andre Schurler. Who? Oh! Squirms that towards the bottom corner of Ira Deflection, but good save by the keeper again. I could have scored about 10 if it weren't for their goalkeeper in this game, but we do get the victory by two goals to one against the 10 men of West Ham. Much, much needed three points there. 16 shots, nine on target. Their keeper definitely kept them in that for the majority of the game. Arsenal win and Spurs win against Manchester City, which is... Good because City lost points, but bad because it's Spurs that got the points. So they're going to stay top of the table. We're going to stay two points behind them. Let's head into the third game of the episode against Newcastle now. McCarthy into James Wall Prowse. There's space here for Scherler. Lazar will close me down, but Scherler's danced inside the box. I'm going to go for an early shot, try and catch the keeper out. Tim Krull gets something on it. Missed time the jump with James Wall Prowse, but I think Krull would have caught that anyway. First chance for us. Good save from the Dutchman in between the sticks, though. Touch from Alfie Hill. In there to James Will Prowse. Man on his shoulder. Idrissa will look there to Penyaranda. That's a great turn. Penyaranda in the box. 90 finishing and proving it just there. Tucking that home very nicely into the far bottom corner. We lead after 33 minutes. That was actually very well taken from Penyaranda. Just pulling it back across goal. Keeping it low as well, which was crucial. Past the defender and the angle was going against him, but he's tucked it away nicely. 1 0 up. TM De Jong. Through to Iosi Perez quickly to Colback. I'm nervous about where he's going to go with it. Mason Holgate doesn't deal with it. I thought I tackled him was about to clear it, but Jack Colback just took it off me again and then tucked it in the bottom corner. Unfortunately, a fellow redhead has completely done me there. I wasn't sure whether he was going to pass it, so I tackled him. And then as I, as I tried to turn and clear, he's just turned and not actually put his foot through it. It's a nice finish, though, from Colback, tucking it back across goal. Fair play. 1-1. One, one. Carrasco... Tries to win the ball off DeAndre Edlin. We end up getting it back with Andre Scherler. Look for James Ward Prowse. Hope there for Penyaranda. They were kind of expecting that. Penyaranda goes down and gets injured, but the referee gives no foul. He clearly got nothing on the ball there. James Ward Prowse does well to hold off the attentions of that defender. Penyaranda still down, still hurt. Carrasco looking to push around the outside, running out of space here. He goes down in the box as well. Penyaranda now able to carry on, but that surely should have been a penalty. McCarthy to James Wall Prowse. Carrasco's there. Idris is making moves, but I'm actually going to go back to James Wall Prowse here and get this to Penyaranda. And if Carrasco can make that run around the outside of me, we can slot him in. He's in the box here. Yannick for Carrasco. Oh, why would you use your left foot in that situation and kick it straight at the keeper when I'm trying to put it in the corner? That's incredibly frustrating. Penyaranda might have to do things all himself again. It takes two deflections and goes straight to Tim Krull. How has Carrasco not finished that chance? That is the opportunity we needed to get ourselves back in front in this game. Penyaranda is trying to do everything himself here and gets chopped and that'll be a... 
That's twice. Twice Peña Randa should have had a penalty now in this game and he's been given nothing either time. This referee legit hates me. McCarthy. Peña Randa, I don't need you to drop deep like that, my man. I need you to be in an attacking position so that I can get you in on goal. Here he is, Peña Randa. And he's trying to get in on goal, but I don't know where to go with the ball. There's just too many defenders between me and the sticks. James Will Prowse is in the box, though. He's still going. DeAndre Edlin, too strong for him. James Will Prowse. Oh, that was an accidental pass. I wanted to shoot with James Will Prowse there, and I pressed the wrong button. He played it across to McCarthy, who was open. All he had to do was put it in the back of the empty net. That was supposed to be a shot, and he's poked it there. Thankfully, he's been able to turn it home. We have our lead back again. Final whistle goes, we do get the 2-1 victory here at home against Newcastle. It was hard fought. We had to overcome some rather terrible refereeing decisions, but they scored with their only shot of the game. And we had a 33% shot to goal conversion rate. Arsenal win 4-0 against Derby. Liverpool lost. No sign of... Oh no, Spurs win 1-0 there. I keep looking for Tottenham. It's been however many years I've been playing FIFA. And for some reason, it... I still don't understand why it stayed down as Spurs and not Tottenham Hotspur, but still. Tottenham are still top of the table with seven games to go. They have a two-point lead. We are three points clear of Manchester United. And we have not that long left to try and overcome that deficit. Now, who do we have between now and the end of the season? If we have Tottenham, I'll be delighted. Stoke, Middlesbrough, Southampton, Manchester United, Swansea, Sunderland, Palace. All we can do is win all of our games and hope that Tottenham drop points. Fingers crossed. Drop the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos. I'll see you next time.